Big games on Roblox take months and hundreds of thousands of lines of code, but today I'm gonna be making a game with one. Not one script, one line of code. That, that right there, that's all I get. Yeah, we're gonna be pushing Roblox Studio and my brain to its limits. So to get started, I hopped into Roblox Studio, excited to type out a line of code, and I realized, sadly, I need an idea. Well, luckily it doesn't take too much thinking to come up with a simple game idea, cause we're kinda restricted, so after not too much thinking, I decided I was gonna make killer bricks fall from the sky and we're just gonna see where that takes us. So in the studio, I just made a little brick, sized it, tossed it into storage, and I named it Killer Brick. Then I created my one and only script and <laughs> look at that, there's already two lines of code in there. We don't get two lines of code, we get one. Delete all that. And so I decided I was gonna use a while loop because those are simple and that's all we're getting today, guys. And inside the while loop, well, not really inside, <laughs> more like next to the while loop i made a variable for the brick and cloned it into workspace now i got brick spawning in look at that very exciting stuff but they don't kill you and this well-coded game wouldn't be fun if you couldn't die so let's figure this out i hop back into my very impressive line of code and i wasn't positive it would work but i was able to just make a basic block touch kill script inside my mile long line of code and boom it works we die now never been so proud of a kill brick before but now we got to make this game a little harder so i shrunk my base plate and made the brick spawn randomly inside that's when i realized my bricks were kind of just chilling after they hit the ground and we can't have that so i went back to my code because obviously that's the easiest fix ever and oh wait no we only get one line of code so i searched around my very organized code and added in an else statement somewhere in there it's it's a mess but now bricks are falling but they're falling a little too fast so we gotta fix that but thank the lord i can fix this without having a script oh i want to stay away from that line of code i wanted to be able to control their speed and all i needed was a linear velocity to do this and after having a little bit of fun with that i decided it was polishing time <laughs> yeah no this game is not polished there's there's no polishing with one line of code especially because i'm not a modeler so we're very limited but you know i did my best i made the bricks look more killer <laughs> and to add to this killer theme i changed it to nighttime i don't know i just kind of thought that looked sick and then we made our line of code even longer by making the brick size and speed random and just like that my front page game has come together nicely you kind of just dodge falling bricks endlessly for no reward because i only get one line of code to work with but yeah, this is what I was able to do with one line of code. Uh, just a fun little challenge. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I love you. Bye.